Okay, welcome back in previous lesson I show you how to make this sort of window and make some space and cube. Now in this one I'm going to teach you how to add a radio button. It's too easy. Let's just add a radio button. First write write R E D I O radio capital B U T T button B group number of radio button to two and level slash a level geo creator and level add it to two and give it a name uh, first let's create C U B cube now the second one will be S P H E R is pair okay and let's just put the semicolon out here let's hit control A and control E enter the button is created the non is selected because you have to go over and select it and let's just give it a default selection let's just write it down slash S E L E C T select two let's select one let's select hit enter now the first button is selected if you want to create the three buttons you just can go over here and select this the number of radio buttons from two to three just change it down control A control enter there is no level out here because we haven't defined anyone let's define the level two let's just copy this one and let's just give it a name CIR circle now let's select okay something is wrong over here okay yes the level array to three let's hit enter then there are the three radio buttons created and now let's give this radio button a command so it can be executed it is over here but doing nothing and let's just clean this up too let's change this out okay let's give this a command let's give this a command of geo radio button group geo rb group let's just delete this semicolon nothing is going to happen because we haven't defined the comments let's clean up this script let's remove the one button from here okay let's see second one is cube so if you go over here and let's just remove the spare button and hit control a control enter there's only cube button let's just select this cube button cut it down control x and just put it below the radio button group and give it a different name give it the name of a p p l y apply control a control enter the apply button is over here so if you choose anything from here and it apply then the command from here will be generated i haven't give anything over here so let's go over here here is a do it for for this and do this for that we didn't just don't need this one let's just comment it out backslash asterisk and asterisk and backslash okay this is done this will not execute anymore so let's go away down here and let's write a command for a radio button let's define a variable first you need to define i into integer dollar sign i have defined a variable this is called integer dollar sign grc this is the variable i would define for the radio button group the same one from here okay this over here so what i'm going to do next is go few lines down let's comment this poly q2 and let's just write if if what if this grc is equal to double is equal to one i forget the dollar dollar sign out here then what open curly bracket and close curly bracket is out here and let's just copy this same line copy paste it two times more is equal to two then what and is equal to three let's see whether it's working or not let's write it down over three control a control enter okay it's working perfectly let's go over here and just copy this print line copy okay paste it down cub cube copy this one paste it down here s p h e r is pair copy and paste paste it down here and right now c i c r l is circle okay control a control enter 
Now if you select the cube and hit enter, do this, okay. I also do need to gray out this one. So control it, control enter. So the sphere, the sphere is generated for the circle, circle is generated and set, let's select cube again and hit apply. The cube is printed. And if you go through my previous tutorials, you will know how to create this sort of cube, circle and everything from over here. So I think this will help you out.